Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Welcome to the cave. We are right now in our newly improved projector testing room. This is the room in which we'll test everything performance related for projectors, related to brightness, contrast, color accuracy, and even some sound testing. If you look around the room, we've entirely covered it in black velvet, which has a very, very low reflectivity index. So it does not reflect much light. And coincidentally, it has the exact same properties as the velour contour on our Stuart Studiotech 100 screen. It took about a whole month of work, like on and off, uh, with a few team members here to cover every surface, the walls, the ceiling, the pipes, the electrical conducts, everything is now covered in velvet. The installation process itself was a bit tedious because they're adhesive rolls. It took a lot of elbow grease and sometimes extra adhesive, especially for the ceiling, to make sure everything was properly covered and that didn't fall back on us. To ensure that no stray light got into the room, we've also taped the contours of the doors and we've taped the HVAC system so no light can come in from any pipes outside of the room. We still get air though, so nobody's suffocating on my watch. The only thing left in the room that has some glow to it is a safety strip around the door so we can know where to escape should something bad happen. So why do all these changes? Simple, we remove the room from the equation. So now the room has minimal impact on any measurement that we do. Projectors aren't like TVs. They're not emissive devices. You have to project onto a surface which then reflects light back, which means light gets thrown all over the place. In this case, when you measure things like contrast, if your room is not optimized, your room will have a big impact on the black levels. And we've had this comment uh, before from a lot of users, and we've noticed it ourselves that our values might have been a bit low. So by improving the room with the black velvet, we're reducing any reflections to a strict minimum. So while the room is a really big improvement, there's something more that we've done. Behind the screen is actually nine new Konica Minolta Illuminance sensors that we use to compute everything directly on the wall, which is itself covered in velvet. So to do that, we remove the screen and then we proceed to testing to reduce reflections even further. So behind me, we've got nine Konica Minolta T10A illuminance meters, which are connected through ethernet down to a central processing unit where our testing station is. So what's the best improvement with the setup? Now we don't have to hold the instrument in our hand to take measurements, because as you can see, light is reflecting off of me. So if you're not wearing a velvet suit with velvet gloves, you're gonna be throwing light onto dark zones. So when you measure contrast, that's super important to not to be in the way. So by being at our testing station in the back, we're not gonna have any interference on the results. So previously, what we tested was 50%, 25%, 15%, 10%, 5%, and 1%. For TBU 0.11, we're adding 0.5% and 0.1% APL to go at sub-levels. The reality of it is uh, we had to make sure that we still covered the sensor as much as possible and going smaller than 0.1% is very difficult to get any accurate measurement. But also 0.1% APL is a very dim scene. So for each of the APL contrast measurements that you see, we're actually measuring two separate slides at the same APL. So in this case, I'm gonna be measuring a 10% APL slide. Since we have nine sensors, I'll take an average of the white measurements of the five patches here. And then once I've measured them, I can simply get my program to do again 10% APL, but now on four patches for the remaining sensors. So we get the average measurement of all the white sensors and all the black sensors, and then we can get the contrast ratio more accurately. So from the get-go, we had a very limited launch of our projector reviews. It was covering things like brightness, contrast, and color accuracy, and not much more. So as part of point 10, some of the biggest changes that we've made was adding input lag for gamers, the SPD graphs to know what kind of spectral power distribution the projector has, which gives you more information about the light source that it uses. Is it laser, laser phosphor, etc.? cetera? Uh, we've also added things like noise testing and a lot of quality of life features like auto keystone, auto focus, lens shift, and other things. In Testbench Point 11, which we're currently working on now, we have to change the way that we test contrast because the room has been changed and so has the instrumentation. So we're gonna revamp the test from A to Z and add things like Fofo contrast, which are requested by the community. We're also gonna be adding a table with the Lumen output, so white light output and color light output for other picture modes besides our calibrated recommended settings. So while these values won't be scored, you'll have access to them to compare. We've also launched our first iteration of a projector calculator. So you can see what distance you need to put a projector to get a certain screen size to see if it fits in your setup. We'll be working on this tool and we're collecting your feedback as we go along to make it even better and more tailored to your needs. Combining the changes to the room and our new instrumentation setup, our goal is to provide the most accurate contrast and brightness measurements in the industry.
Our testing room has undergone a significant transformation since we first started testing projectors. Thanks to feedback from you, the community, we're confident this brings us closer to providing the best projector reviews in the industry. But we're not stopping there. Work is already underway for the upcoming test bench, Point 11, and we'll be putting our new room to good use as we move forward. We're excited to share those results, so stay tuned for more updates to our testing in the coming months. And if you have any feedback, we'd love to hear from you down below. What do you want to see out of projector reviews that we haven't already covered? How can we make them more useful to you? Drop us a comment or send us a message or email or even join our Discord server. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'm Pascal from Ratings.com where we help you find the best product for your needs.